Foreign Minister Wu, thank you so much for being with us today. I'm going to start off our interview by asking a few questions about the Israel-Taiwan relationship. Mm -hmm. First off, what can Israel do to support Taiwan better? Oh, thank you very much for asking that question. Uh, indeed, Taiwan needs support, and Israel is a federal democracy. And therefore, we hope that uh, Israel can uh, come in on Taiwan and Taiwan's success in economic areas or other areas. And of course, Taiwan has always been described as a, a force for good in the world by the United States or other uh, countries uh, that are good partners of Taiwan. So in that sense, uh, we hope that uh, Israel uh, can talk more about Taiwan and Taiwan's role in the international economy or international politics or the situation Taiwan is under uh, the threat by China. And this one thing Taiwan has uh, difficulties in, in doing, that is Taiwan's international participation. And we are very glad that uh, the Israeli government started commenting indirectly about Taiwan's participation in the WHO. And we hope that uh, the Israeli government can come out uh, to comment directly that Taiwan has a role to play in international politics or international organizations, and that will be highly appreciated. And one more thing, uh, we have been trying to work with other like-minded partners uh, through a uh, establishment called uh, 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 GCTF, uh, Global Cooperation and Training Framework. And recently, we had a round on digital economy in Israel. And that is very successful. And we hope that uh, the Israeli government, Israeli societies, or specialists can continue to participate in GCTF. You mentioned a little bit about the threats that Taiwan is facing, which brings me to my next question. What do you view as the greatest threat to Israel-Taiwan relations? Uh, the greatest threat is that China wants to uh, cut off Taiwan's international network or international support. So whenever the Israelis uh, say something about Taiwan or Israeli newspapers or journals uh, come in on Taiwan or interview me, uh, the Chinese will come very hard on the Israelis. And uh, the purpose uh, or objective of the Chinese diplomatic actions is try to cut off uh, Taiwan from international support or connections with other countries. And Israel happens to be a fully functioning democracy, a mature democracy, and a country that shares the same value with Taiwan. And therefore, uh, China would try to uh, cut Israeli uh, off Taiwan's list of uh, supporters on the international stage. But in that sense, uh, since Taiwan and Israel shares the same values, and at the same time, we also face uh, similar international problems. For example, we face a super giant China. And Israel is also under threat at all times, especially by terrorism. And under these kinds of circumstances, you know, we can think of many ways Taiwan and Israel can work together. Following up on that, the United States and Taiwan, obviously very, very close allies, just like Israel and the United States. When it comes to threats between that relationship, what do you view as the greatest threat to the U.S.-Taiwan relations? Uh, the United States is, is the best friend of Taiwan uh, on the international stage. Uh, whenever Taiwan is to participate in international organizations like the WHO, Interpol, UNFCCC, ICAO, and etc., uh, the United States is always taking a leading role in supporting Taiwan. Uh, but China hates it. They don't want Taiwan to be supported by any country, uh, by the United States as well. And uh, other than uh, international support, the United States is also the country uh, that has been provide, providing Taiwan with uh, defensive articles for Taiwan to be able to defend itself. And the situation is rather similar to uh, U.S.-Israeli relations. And we hope that kind of relations can continue. And also, uh, Taiwan politicians or senior officials here in Taiwan uh, mostly educated in the United States. So you can see the kinds of very close cultural, educational, and ethical type of uh, connection between Taiwan and the United States. And in the eyes of the Chinese decision makers, that kind of connection is not good because it brings Taiwan closer to the United States rather than to the authoritarian China. So the Chinese are threatening the United States uh, or threatening Taiwan not to get clo too close to each other. Uh, you might remember what happened in August. Uh, Speaker Pelosi of the U.S. Uh, House of uh, Representatives came to visit Taiwan. 
And China just used it as a pretext to launch large-scale military exercises around Taiwan to intimidate us or to coerce us. And other than a large uh, amount of uh, military threat against Taiwan, uh, they also fired missiles, uh, and some of them over Taiwan. And they also launched cyber attacks, uh, and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs website happens to be taken down several times. And uh, they also engage in disinformation campaign or cognitive warfare, and they also uh, engage in the economic coercion, ban more than 1,000 items of uh, Taiwan's export to China. So what they want to do in doing this is to scare off uh, American supporters from coming to Taiwan or to scare Taiwan off from reaching out to the international society. But that is exactly the opposite of what we need. Democracies should support each other. And whoever wants to come to Taiwan should not be dictated by China. And from Taiwan's side, whoever wants to come to Taiwan to show support to Taiwan should be welcomed by Taiwan. And it shouldn't be dictated by China. Following up on that question, when we talk about shared values between democracies, whether it be Israel or the United States, obviously Taiwan as a democracy has a lot of shared values. What do you view as the most important shared values between Israel and Taiwan? Freedom, democracy, and the protection of human rights. You know, uh, in all these areas, these are the most fundamental values that the two countries share with each other. And that is also something that uh, we share with uh, some Western democracies. You know, we call like-minded partners, the United States, Canada, uh, UK, some major European countries, Australia, Japan, New Zealand, and et cetera. And these countries are very close to Taiwan. And the most important reason is because Taiwan is a fully functioning democracy. And whenever you look at those uh, indices, uh, of international institutions rating freedom or democracy, religious freedom or freedom of speech or uh, the rating of democracy. Taiwan almost always stands out at the top. And similarly, Israel is the uh, fully functioning democracy among all uh, Middle Eastern countries. So we have that similarity. And I'm sure that is also the reason why Israel, Israel is supported by uh, federal democracies. And Taiwan, because of uh, the fact that it's already a democracy, and uh, we observe uh, freedom, speech freedom, or other type of freedoms here in Taiwan, and that is recognized by uh, federal democracies. And therefore, the relations between Taiwan and all these countries will continue to move on. And at the same time, we hope that uh, Taiwan-Israel relations can also move forward. In the event of Chinese aggression, what would be your expectations from Israel, firstly, and secondly, from the United States? Obviously, they're going to be a little bit different, mm. but I would love to hear your, your thoughts on that. Mm. Uh, we, we hope that there's no war uh, in between Taiwan or and China or in any other parts of the world. Uh, war means death. War means devastation, and therefore, it's not in anyone's interest. And we hope that there's uh, peace and stability in this area to allow economy to continue to develop. But if war is to happen, uh, one thing that is very sure, that is the determination of the Taiwanese people to be able to defend itself. And during this period of time, what we are asking the United States for is to provide us with the weapons for the Taiwan uh, people to be able to defend itself. And at the same time, we are also asking the United States for the training of the troops, uh, the uh, service of our weapons, and the security discussions with each other. So that is what we need from uh, the United States at this moment. But if there's going to be a war, it's up to the Taiwanese people to fight for itself, to fight for our own freedom and sovereignty. But at the same time, if we look at the case of uh, Ukraine, uh, the Ukrainians are fighting very bravely, but the international support is critical for Ukraine to continue to fight on. And Taiwan is one of those countries, and Israel as well, uh, continue to provide humanitarian assistance and also speak out against the uh, Russian invasion. And under the kind of circumstances, we hope that Israel or the United States will continue to show support to Taiwan by saying that aggression is unacceptable. Okay. And our last question today, um, if you had one message for individuals, not governments, but individuals in the Western world, be it Europe, United States, Canada, or Israel, what would that be? How can we show better support for Taiwan? Mm. Uh, Taiwan is a democracy. 
Taiwan observes the uh, fundamental human rights and uh, uh, Taiwan's freedom, uh, degree of freedom, exceeds most countries in this part of the world. And therefore, Taiwan stands together on this fundamental rights. And we hope that the uh, Western democracies, the regular people, can uh, understand this basic fact. And another thing about Taiwan is Taiwan's high-tech capability. Uh, most recently, uh, the TSMC, uh, Taiwan's high-tech company, uh, made an investment in Arizona uh, to produce semiconductor uh, computer chips. Uh, and that is something that the United States has been celebrating. Uh, and from that fact, maybe the regular people uh, in Europe or in the United States or in um, the Middle East can understand the economic power of Taiwan. We produce about 92% of the highest end of semiconductor chips. And therefore, if this supply chain is disrupted, it's going to impact upon the rest of the world in a major way. And we hope that the, the international community can continue to show support to Taiwan and to urge China not to initiate any war against a democracy like Taiwan. Very important words. I think that's something that can resonate both within Israeli society and, of course, within all of the Western world as well. Foreign Minister Wu, thank you so much for thank being you. with us. Thank you. It's really my pleasure.